I'm Charlotte Emily Craig and I'm from Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm Italian. I'm from Hungary. Courtney Skalnik. I'm 19 years old and this is my first job. I graduated 20 days ago. My name is Roshane Arts. I am 30 years old. We should cut that actually. <laughs> Movement has been a huge part of my life, starting from four or five years old. Um, I was always moving, not just on the floor, but also in trees. And I started dancing classes in a little town where I'm from. This has helped me quite a bit to get my energy and to focus my energy on something that I love to do. My father showed us these old movies with Gene Kelly and Danny Kaye and these actors were singing and dancing all the time in their movies and they looked so cool and I was always trying to, to do the same, running around, jumping. I danced when I was only a child, when I was only three years old. I was at uh, primary school and I loved so much dancing, so I think that this is my passion, this is my work, this is my aspiration in life. I have always the theater as a work of art, also jedes Rädchen, was da drin ist, ist genauso wichtig wie die anderen, egal wie groß oder klein es ist. Und äh, das eine kann sich ja nicht weiterdrehen, wenn das andere irgendwo stecken bleibt. Das ist ja das Schöne und auch das Komplizierte darin. Often people look at dancers as individual artists and you are working on your own art form and your own expression. But it's most definitely also like what people call like a team sport in a way. It's so dependent on other people and your connection with them. When you meet another dancer, you know that person has been working really hard in, in her or his life. So you have this connection from the very first moment, I guess, and you are going to respect each other for what and how they are doing their job, their art form. When we're working together, it's like a, a family. Because you work on such a different level and you're so close and you show your struggles and your emotions to each other. So it's like, we all know how we feel. And it's, I think that makes it a lot easier within the company. Also with the ballet masters and with the choreographer, I think it's really useful and needed to be able to go on stage and perform and yeah just to so it's like a whole like one part you have to give your 100 percent at least you have to try to give your 100 percent every night because if not you're ruining your colleague's work because maybe he or she is really pushing that night and then the whole piece is is not on point because of you and maybe you were the only one who was not giving everything on that performance and that's why you really have to appreciate others job in, in Bali. Ich glaube als Künstler ist man immer unterwegs und ähm, man hört nie auf zu lernen, man hört nie auf Veränderungen zu erleben. Also ich glaube, es ist eine ständige, eine ständige Veränderung von Dingen. Es ist wahnsinnig aufregend, aber es ist natürlich auch sehr destabilisierend manchmal, wenn man, ja, wenn man immer wieder merkt, okay, ich, ich stehe auf einem eingeseiften schrägen Boden die ganze Zeit. I can say that every day in the ballet studio as a dancer was a good day. 
there was a lot of frustration, a lot of internal fight between me and the mirror. It's a constant struggle. <laughs> Through the nine and actually ten years, sometimes, well, not sometimes, a lot of times, I, I thought, okay, I'm never going to make it. I'm not going to be in a company because, you know, it just struggles and struggles. But it, I always went back and I said, and I told myself, I'm, I'm going to be a dancer, and I think it is an achievement. I really like the challenge. If they want me to turn more or to jump higher, they, like that's what I love to do. It was actually very good for me to, to do classical ballet, especially with my body and my background. Even though my nature, my inner nature, always like tries to like push away from that, like, no, you have to move. I mean, classical ballet moves, but differently than, than a more contemporary vibe, you know? I was always, when I was younger, told I would be a very classical dancer and that would be best for, for what I was doing. Now I am able to do more than that and that I can surprise myself also and other people with, with the, the different range of dancing that I can do. It is always good to go back to basics because that's where it all comes from in the end and to know where you are and go from there again. How do I flirt with the audience? Well, I like to... I do like to flirt. I do like to flirt with the audience. The approach more depends. I would say that I am definitely more of a stage person than a, than a studio one. I like to set a certain base for myself in the studio that I know that I'm safe on stage so I can actually take more risks on stage. Some say that's very adventurous or, you know, not as... Yeah, I don't know, who likes to be safe? I don't like to be safe. And I think in this way, the way how I approach myself on stage can interest an audience. And this is my way of flirting. No matter what a person in the audience has experienced that day, if they're coming to a show, I can share with them a, a different feeling, a different story or emotion. And so it's um, almost like therapeutic. I don't consider myself as a as a very technical dancer, but I hope that with my passion and acting, I, I can give something to the audience. And I've been in the theater so many times and I, I had the privilege to see these great dancers and actors. And sometimes I was almost crying while I was sitting in the audience. And I'm just hoping that I can do the same. And there are 
our stories. I wanted to be faithful. This question about whether we choose to see beyond the walls we've built around ourselves. How do they limit what we see? I notice them all. Ich sage ja auch immer, also für mich ist wichtig nicht, was die Tänzer jetzt können, was sie jetzt sind, sondern was sie werden können. Also ich finde diese Idee, dass ein Tänzer oder eine Tänzerin immer etwas ist, das ist nicht richtig. Das ist ein, ein ständiger, eine ständige Entwicklung und ähm, deswegen ist wichtig für mich zu sehen, wo kann jemand hin, was könnten die mal machen. With ballet, it's like there's never, like you can't be perfect. Like it's not a thing to be perfect or to be like a done, like finished dancer. It's like a never-ending process. At Ballet am Rhein, there are so beautiful artists and um, I'm very happy to be here in this company, in this moment. It has this feeling of something great is going to happen and I think all of the people who came here can, can sense that, that something really beautiful is, is being created. I think that we have now a group of artists and artists die wahnsinnig heterogen ist auf eine Art und trotzdem glaube ich, dass die alle was verbindet und das ist eine große Leidenschaft, also der Tanz verbindet die natürlich, aber ich glaube auch eine gewisse Einstellung und eine gewisse Haltung und ich denke und hoffe auch, dass sie auch ein, verstehen, warum sie hier sind. Ich hoffe, dass man in 20 Jahren zurückblickt und guckt, was war in dem Ballett am Rhein damals so besonders, dass so viel entstehen konnte.